so uh, how's it going uh i'm hamish and i'm carl again <laughs> <laughs> so <coughs> carl is writing tomorrow man so yeah but but what what, what, what were you afraid of the hard question because you say something oh i don't want to do hard question you don't want to do uh the hard question because why do you have a fear it's just like some of it looks challenging but it's actually not and it's breaking it down so it's not challenging anymore that's more of the problem it can be it can be very hard but trying to identify how to break it down is more of an issue for me but it's still it's doable so it's not impossible basically it's just manipulation the whole time can be a bit of a problem i know you can do it and yeah. another thing when you mention something oh i'm writing tomorrow and i'm not going to touch nano <laughs> You say you don't want to touch. Uh, no, you don't it'll do be finished for now. Like with this, I'm gonna go through like matrices and graphs, and then tonight again, go maybe more over this stuff again. Okay, so if I had to encourage you, if I had advice, do until the last minute. Yeah. You gonna, when you write tomorrow, that's it. Yeah. You're not gonna have another chance. So, Kyle, <laughs> there is a question, man. So it's a lot of people. Sometimes you know they have a problem with this question. It's not only Kyle. It's a lot of students out there who struggle with this question. So let's get into it, man. Let's get into it. So it's better. Yeah, so yeah, we have a problem with this question, man. So whoever have a problem with this question, Carl is gonna provide it with an optimum <laughs> solution. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's go. Alright, well, first we're gonna see um, we can let it equal to u. So uh -huh. let u equal three minus two x minus x squared. Then our d of u is going to be equal to minus two minus two x d of x. We can take out 2, d of u, minus 2, so it's going to be x plus 1. Mm -hmm. I think that's correct. Minus 2 comes out, minus 2 comes out, so times it in, yes. We can divide by negative 2, so it's going to be d u over negative 2 is going to be equal to x plus 1, d of x. But we don't have this here, but we can sub it in. So, we're going to say the integral of x plus 1 minus 1 over that what we had, 3 minus 2x minus Okay, so if I had to ask you, uh, I personally don't understand what you did there. Could you please explain to me? Because I know a lot of people, so they might get confused about this part. Like, this you were part, here. This part. You were here, so how did you get here? Yes. Okay, but... What we have is x at uh -huh. the top, but we have when we differentiate, when we took out, when we let this equal u, uh -huh. we got x plus one. Yes. But to make, we can't change the top. Mm -hmm. We can't change what we do, what is given to us. We have yes. to keep it constant. However, mm -hmm. if we just minus one, it's going to be the same. It'll be given. the exact same. So if we like, if we let this out and we minus the one, it's still x on top. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. But so then now we don't write it as k, we first separate it up. So because it's now like this, we can separate it. Mm -hmm. But we don't want to put in k yet because k will confuse us even more. So it's going to be the integral then of this first, x plus 1 over, we're going to separate it, minus 3, 2x, minus x squared, d of x, minus, again, because there's a minus there, so I'm going to leave it as 1 now, over 3 minus 2x minus x squared d of x. This we know is k, so this can go out, so it's going to be equal to the net 1, integral of 1 over square root of k, dk. And then this side we'll have to do... Uh, You'll have to do the uh, completing the square yes. to get the final answer for this one. So it's going to be 1 over completing the square. Uh, do you mind if we complete it somewhere, probably a size? Yeah, up? we can complete it over here quickly. Okay. So completing the square, so it's going to be 3 minus 2x minus x squared. We're going to first maybe rewrite it, so it's minus x squared minus 2x plus 3. That's our bracket. So we're going to write here take out a minus so it's going to be x plus 2x this one is going to go down here minus 3 you forgot square there oh so square, square. 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 yes correct so now it's going to be plus 2 
over 2 squared and then this is going to be minus 2 over 2 squared so it's going to be negative we're going to make brackets bigger so this is going to be x squared plus 2x plus 1 and this is going to be minus 4 then it's going to be now equal to minus brackets this is going to be x plus 1 squared minus 4 take the minus in it's going to be 4 minus x plus 1 squared we can make this 2 squared to make ourselves easier minus x plus 1 squared yes. that's what we want for this section so we're going to take this now to here okay. so it's going to be 2 squared minus x plus 1 squared no, this square is oh uh, yes sorry and a square root so from here we're going to take this one up and yes. I'm going to do it in one step now yes. so negative a half still mm -hmm. we're going to maybe okay we'll just take it up okay negative a half and then this oh sorry Mish. this is a standard form we're going to look for the standard form so it's minus so it's a uh, 1 over, we're going to use this as our standard form. Yeah. Sine inverse. Yes, because it's the exact same. So that's the inverse of, trig uh, inverse of uh, integration, sine. Where are we now? Yes. Okay. So that, that answer is going to now, we're going to write it in one step now. Yeah. Sine negative 1 as mm -hmm. sine inverse, because it's straight from our table. Yes. But it's 1, so now it's going to be 1 over A. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be 1 over 2. Because this is our A, yes. then we're going to take our function. Uh, sorry, we're going to take our function over A. Yes. So it's going to be let's write x plus one over A. That's for this side now. Complete because yes. it follows this, but we're not going to put C until we complete. So now this is going to be equal to negative one over two. Mm -hmm. This is going to be one over two k. Okay, so I'm going to write at the bottom. This is going to go to 4, so it's going to be 1 over 2k square rooted, minus by this. But we're not going to, we've got to first finish this, so this is going to be negative 1 over 4. Then it's going to be uh, k, which we had over, where's our k? I, chose, I think it was you, you. Oh, sorry, it was you, not K. That must be you. you. No problem, it's fine. That must be you. Sorry about that. And so it was this. 3 minus 2x minus x squared. 3 minus 2x minus x squared minus a half sine negative 1. x plus 1 over 2 plus c. Okay, thanks a and lot. That's advice now. Just a little advice for, for the people who, who do similar stuff. Or probably expect to do uh, the same stuff as well. It's just Sometimes. accuracy. Myself, I have the problem with accuracy. Just following through, like even now, I used a substitution of u, and then halfway through, I put in k instead of a carrying on with u. So that's a problem. Just substitution. Hmm. Also, doing the questions a lot of times hmm. and getting an and getting the correct outcome at home will help you in the exam. When you start going through the questions and you wonder like, is this correct? Hmm. If you have done enough practice at home, you will see the outcome. And then when you start seeing the outcome in the exam, you can be like, hold on, I've done a mistake. Compared to what you've done at home. And then if you're getting the correct, if you're getting the answers correct in the exam, then you can say, okay, well, I'm following the correct method. Uh, is this outcome possible? And then you think back to when you did the exercises at home. Did you get that kind of outcome? Yes. And then you know, okay, well, then I'm following the correct method. And that helps me a lot in all my other subjects. I like to strength the materials. And I know if I'm working with thickness or something, is the answer that I got at home similar to what I'm getting in the exam? Mm. Obviously, it's not going to be the exact same, but going through enough questions, you can go, like, get an understanding, like, you can look at an answer and see that's not right. Mm. But if you've done enough work, you can see, okay, I can see that what I've done, that answer cannot be right. Mm. And that helps me a lot with this and all my other subjects. You had, so that's advice from Carl. But just one thing, sometimes I'm, I, I get mad for Carl. I mean, <laughs> Carl's 
He knows everything. Any question give to him, he's gonna do. But just for some reason, he never give me 98, 98. Yeah. I'm just mad at him. <laughs> Yeah, it's okay. accuracy. That's yeah. my problem is accuracy. So it's if you're gonna do the work, mm. make sure you follow it correctly. You don't have you don't have two days to do the work. You only have a set amount of hours per the exam. But make sure what you are doing, you're giving your absolute focus to, mm. and follow through. Don't mm. don't just like make me like I did a stupid mistake with you and care. Mm. Don't mix that up because the, the minute a lecturer sees that, it's more from there because you don't know what you're doing. Since now you have identified your uh, your weakness, yeah. so how how are you prepared for it? Because remember, you're gonna write very soon. You have like yeah. plus minus twenty four hours. To go. Yeah. So I want I want you to tell me how have you prepared for that? I mean, as far as working your uh, well in the exam, mistakes and well in the exam, which marks should you expect from you? Because we want to promise. Yeah. See, because when you when you, when, when when you say you promise, means you gonna have to keep it. Going. Yeah. So how have you prepared for your, well, as far as making a lot of mistakes? It goes, with the exam tomorrow, it's methods and expanding everything as far as possible. Mm -hmm. Showing steps, not skipping steps at all. So, work the, if it's like something stupid like differentiation of x squared, do it separately so that you don't make a mistake. Show the steps, because that's how you get more marks. Just doing all the steps, don't skip the steps. And then now, just work flat out, even if you're tired, work flat out till tomorrow and then tomorrow night after exam, well then you can crash, then you've done it. It's a lot, so which match should you expect from your life? You gotta keep your work. Look, you're always ho hoping to pass, but there's always like 70% for it, or uh -huh. an A for it even. You see what I'm talking about, yeah. right? I mean, this one, this one I'm married with God. He knows all the stuff, but just for some reason. I'm happy with it. No. <laughs> I know you shouldn't, you should always fight for more though, but like you always aim for a hundred because you can get it, it's, it's maths, it's not like language where it's it's subject to how you wrote an essay, I mean maths follows a formula, you can get a hundred percent from it. So which much do which you should expect from you for tomorrow? Always a hundred percent, you should expect. So guys man, you know, probably next time, Kyle is going to give us feedback on how much it got. Thanks so much, uh, and thank you very much Kyle, I appreciate it. So, cool. People watching, we expect 100. He's not joking, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, this time he's full prepared. So, yeah. 100%. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Carl. Appreciate it. Thank Thanks you. Thanks a lot. Peace and love. Peace. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers.